Hello everyone, welcome back to Healthy Living. I'm Wendy. Start your garden with kitchen scraps and this is our experiment. This bok choy right here has not uh, done well in this container. I started out in water, then I realized, you know, got murky and the leaves was falling apart. Now I have them in this container and in this container, I am having some fleas or nets or whatever underneath here. So it's best for me to remove this and add this into the compost tumbler. And just now we have a space to plant something else. The leek is doing just fine. If you have problems in growing it uh, from seed, you can just go to the grocery store and just put it in some soil and make your life easy by having you a leek plant on the patio or in the garden. So today is February the 26th. It's just an update on the scraps from the kitchen. So right here over the weekend, baby took out some time to plant some corn, okra and green beans. And hopefully I will follow suit right behind him. And uh, but you know, I'm a person who like to direct soul into the garden, but you know, you can only do so much of that. Now I have a choice to compost this in place somewhere in my garden, or I can just add it into my compost tumbler. And now today I'm just gonna add it in the compost tumbler like I normally do it, um, but I do it both ways it in like that you know you always give it a turn every time you come by it walk by it and then I like rocking it I think I need to move this pot the tulips probably a little closer on the other side to receive sun because I've noticed the other tulips are um, thriving so and so the tumbler is actually blocking it you see the shade right there and I do get sun over here but I think it would just do a little bit better if I move it and put it on that towel over there in front not only that it would be beautiful be able to see it from a distance Remember not too long ago, we planted this two loves, a bunch of bulbs together. And this is the result of them bulbs that I have found in the garage. Yes. So let's bring this on around so everyone can enjoy Just it. like that. Okay. And this one here is draining water. there balance it oh there's so much to be done so much that needs to be done I just came out and just walked didn't really want to do anything just observe I did buy some more asparagus uh, to be planted I didn't plant any last year I normally plant some every year just to make sure that I have enough you know, servings for dinner. So, I need to do that. I need to make sure that the onions get watered. You don't want them to dry out. You want to keep them moist as much as possible. We still have a lot of broccoli that I will be able to harvest. That is a good thing. Any cauliflower that I have I'm thinking about letting it go to seed as long as it does not interfere what we have planned to grow in this space here so that will determine we do have carrots on this end uh, I think it's rainbow carrots and I don't know where my tag is but a kaleidoscope 
carrots. It took a long time. Let's see here. I did them November the 20th. Kaleidoscope. Mm hmm. Put it back. I really need some tech soy seeds and it looks like they're trying to go to seed right here so I really don't want to bother them I really do want them to go to seed not all of them because I do want to enjoy it we did have some uh, last night in our salad tech soy and bok choy baby came out here and got some and I thought he'd end up getting some kale. I don't know if y'all can see that kale or not, but it's thriving. It looks good. It's beautiful, y'all. And I wanted some dinosaur kale. Or lacinato kale. And you know my gorilla cart that I just got? Well, look, y'all. Baby end up making me another one to fit over it. Isn't that neat? And all I could think of when I get ready, all I gotta do is shake it like this. <laughs> Making some noise. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's about it. I'm Wendy. If this is your first time here, I'm not really feeling like doing anything. I just mainly today just walked around and look. I worked. Uh, the weekend and just trying to see what else is going on what I need to do and it actually looks like a lot because I want certain things to look a certain way and that can be very stressful so new gardeners take your time think it out we are always in a rush to do things or we're always thinking that we actually need more space more yard to more we need to extend more 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 and really we don't have to all we do is really create more work for ourselves especially if you're a person who works outside the home in the home in the yard flower bed garden can be a lot so think about it plan what you need to do think about what you was dealing with last summer and spring that you didn't care for you want to make sure that you try to not mimic the same thing that you do every year you want to change and do better and we have to gradually do it so that is my message to you all today and have a good day and i'll see you all in the next video